from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. You might hear some thunder today. Shay Ryan is going to explain when coming up in her forecast. But first of all, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. A Pasco County man now being called a hero after deputies say he killed an armed domestic violence suspect and saved a woman and her children. The Good Samaritan was mowing his yard when he heard screams and saw his neighbor lowering her kids out of a second story window. Deputies say he tried to calm her husband down, but the suspect pointed a gun at him. The two got into a shootout and the suspect ended up dead. That has to be a horrific scene for somebody, a victim, to be placing young children out of a second story window because they're in such fear of their lives inside the house. Neighbors say they heard a total of eight gunshots during that shootout. We want to remind you that ABC Action News is committed to taking action against domestic violence. If you or someone you know is in a domestic violence situation, call the statewide hotline. That number is on your screen. We've also posted resources at action at abcactionnews.com slash TV. Citrus County Sheriff Mike Prendergast hit and killed a pedestrian last night in Hernando County. Troopers say the man walked into the road at Woodland Water Boulevard in US 19. That's about five miles north of State Road 50. He died at the scene. Deputies say an extremely drunk and unlicensed driver crashed into a house in the town and country area overnight. They say Marcelino Gomez's blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit to drive. The sheriff's office says his SUV left the road, it hit a sign, went through a chain link fence, and then into a home on Yorkshire Road. He's now charged with DUI. The state of Florida is set to execute a serial killer who began his violent streak here in the Bay Area. Gary Ray Bowles sexually assaulted a woman in Tampa in 1982. Twelve years later, he committed six murders near I-95 from Florida to Maryland. Bowles often targeted gay men, blaming them for the death of his unborn baby when his girlfriend had an abortion. His execution is set for this evening at 6. There is a new push today to keep Florida children in booster seats a lot longer. State Senator Keith Perry filed a bill to require kids to be in a car seat or booster seat until they're seven. That's a year longer than the current law requires. Perry says this change would keep children safe in the event of a crash. Here's Shay now with your forecast. Yeah, and we're looking at a really nice forecast again today. We will have chances for rain through the late afternoon and into the evening, uh, but those showers and storms will taper off pretty quickly after sunset as they move out into the Gulf. So before that, we reach highs in the low 90s quite easily, and it'll be feeling close to 100 degrees for those of us who don't see showers and storms at all today. And there will be quite a few of us. Uh, the chance for rain or the coverage of the rain really peaks today between 30 to 40 percent. So again, most of us are just it's going to be hot and steamy today, Dia. All right, thank you, Shay. You can get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.